now that you have unleashed your superpowers, it's time to package them up and share them with the world. And one of the best ways to do that is with a podcast. Welcome to episode number 255 of the In a Weekend podcast. I'm your host, Yang Pratt, and we love to help you unleash your superpowers here on the podcast and package them up and share them with the world in unique ways that highlight all the awesome things about you and your business. Before we dive into why a podcast may make sense for you and how you can use it to share your superpowers with the world in a nice, neat package, let's first talk about superpowers. If you haven't already listened to last week's podcast, which was episode number 254, I want you to pause this episode right now and go back to the show notes at youngpratt.com slash 254 and go through the steps to unleash your superpowers. Once you have done that, this episode is going to make much more sense for you as far as packaging up your superpowers in a really interesting way. Deal? Okay, so let's dive into podcasting. Why does a podcast make sense for packaging up your superpowers? Well, there's so many reasons why podcasting is a super smart marketing tool and one that you can use to share your superpowers. If you've listened to this podcast for any length of time, you know we talk a lot about podcasting, and there are so many great reasons why a podcast makes sense for you and your business, and especially to share your unique superpowers. One of the main reasons I love podcasting is it's a great connection tool. What does that mean? Well, when someone is referred to me, for instance, to do one of our done-for-you systems and processes packages, The way that I like to connect with them in the beginning is to share some of our past podcast episodes with them. Why would I do that? Well, one of the reasons I do that is because I want to make sure that the person who is coming to hire us for a service understands who we are, what we do, how we teach, what we believe, and really believes in the philosophy of everything that we do in our business. Those are really important steps to be able to take first before you bring on a brand new client, or at least in my opinion, that's one of the best ways for those clients that are new to you to really get to know, like, and trust you, and then be more inclined to hire you for your higher level services or products. Another example is if you are subscribed to my email list, I often will send links to specific podcast episodes that are relevant to the subject matter in that email. That way, whether you like to learn best by reading or whether you prefer to listen, there's multiple ways for you to get that messaging that you need so that I can serve you at a higher level. So podcasts are my go-to for educating my potential clients as well as my current clients in my classes. By sharing these tips and episodes from the podcast with potential clients, with current clients, and even with past clients, it's just a really great way to help people to understand that I love to serve them, I love to share with them, I want the best for them, and a podcast is a really personable place to do it. So when it comes to them wanting to hire us to do our done for you services, I'm never having to sell them. The podcast and what they've learned from me and the education and the value they're gaining from that really sells our services for us. So we never really have to quote unquote hard sell. And if you're, if you could see me, I'm using my air quotes because those words of selling or hard selling or closing are not words that I resonate with. They feel kind of icky to me. But if I can educate somebody before they hire us, if I can educate someone even when they're already in our classes and serve them at a higher level, you better believe that I want to do that. And a podcast is a perfect place to do that. Now, another reason a podcast makes sense is that it's portable. People don't even have to have access to a Wi-Fi connection to listen to your message. Yes, they'll need it to be able to get your episode onto whatever device they're listening to, but if they're going on a trip, maybe they're hopping on the plane, 
the ability for them to take you and your brand and your message and your unique superpowers with them, that's a very intimate thing. They're popping you into their earbuds and everything you want to share with them is at their fingertips. It is completely magical and it is such a cool way to be able to connect with people in this hyper-connected world where we oddly enough feel more disconnected from the people around us than we did before all this technology came into play. So those are just a couple of reasons why a podcast makes sense for you and your business. I do want to say if you've done any searching at all for podcasting, you've looked up the term how to start a podcast or something of that nature, you're likely to be confronted with a couple of things. One, really, really lengthy articles that are pages and pages and pages long. Or you'll run into videos and you watch one, you kind of go down the rabbit hole, sometimes it'll autoplay, you'll watch the next thing, and often those videos will contradict each other. So then you end up being more confused than when you began your search and then you just throw your hands up in the air and you move on to the next project. I can speak from experience on this one that has happened to me more times than I can count. And when it came to podcasting and starting my podcast way back in 2013, I spent a lot of time, or I should say I wasted a lot of time, trying to figure it out on my own, trying to do all these Google searches to really put all the pieces together in a way that made sense. But it wasn't until I found a mentor who had it all packaged up in a way that I resonated with that that made sense for me to invest in a program to help me podcast and it made all the difference. In this year of 2020, my message for you is to find people in your life that you resonate, that you connect with, that you believe in. You've seen their work, you've seen how they serve their clients, you see how they show up in the world. Get those people to mentor you and help you achieve those goals you want to create, like starting a podcast. We will be opening up the doors to podcast in a weekend very soon. So if you are interested, definitely reach out to me on social and let me know because we're going to do it in a bit of a different way. It's not going to be a huge launch. It's going to be sort of a smaller, more intimate launch because we're going to do it a little bit differently. The execution is going to be different. The class content is going to be the same. Plus, we're adding in several more things to not only package up your superpowers with a podcast, but to be able to help you amplify your podcast in really big ways to help you reach more people. Let me ask you this. Are you ready to take all of your knowledge and all of those superpowers that you've unleashed, lean into them and package them up on a podcast? Come on over to youngpratt.com slash 255 and let me know how I can help you accomplish that in 2020. We have a big thing coming for you. We have the big rebrand coming down the pipeline on the 17th of February with the new brand. I'm super excited about that. I want to serve you and help you to really amplify all those things that make you awesome, including your superpowers to help you soar above all of the fray and stand out from anyone else doing what you do in this year and in this decade. If you are ready to do that, definitely come on over to the show notes, youngpratt.com slash 255. Let me know what help you need to package up your superpowers on a podcast in 2020. Until next time, my friends, I wish you a fantastic day. Cheers.